crazy shit. Oh I my forgot God. all about this. This is such great content. Wow. I don't know if it's great content. No one even knows what right? we're talking about. But for you, I've been closing through the city with this pretty little. You pull up and UPS pulls up. It's crazy. That's sick. One box those when we get back. Hell yeah. Dude, we should have been road tripping it to Ellis Mania this weekend down I know, in Texas. I didn't even think it's, about it's, it. It's dude. in Austin. Do you remember Rob from T-Mobile that was at Southlands? Rob Yeah. Yeah, what about him? Him or his old lady is fighting in one of them. What? Dude, they have been to Ellis Mania since, day, since Ellis Mania. Rob, Rob, why? They are the biggest Ellis Mania <laughs> fans. What? That's dude, so random. You want to see now, dude? He's all cut up, dude. Oh, Super really? Super skinny. And his old lady's fighting in April. She's fighting tonight. Fighting? I don't know how they what? do that. You know, because they do a bunch of no-namers on these undercards. She's fighting. Oh, my god. He fought last year. Rob did. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's the craziest shit. Oh I my forgot god. all about this. This is such great content. Wow. I don't know if it's great content. No one even knows that know, we're right? talking about. But for you and I. Better, you know. What's up, Dean? How are you? Good. What up? How, how you doing? Thank you. When we go on the video. We have like these guys. Customs. Uh, Go look into the camera. Have I ever shown Go you look into the phone, please. No. no. What are those? Well, I got the horses in the back. Now he wants them. He's like, now I need them. No, now we need them in my life. No, I don't think I need them. Yeah, you do. I don't need them. Oh, I don't want them. I'm so excited. I paid close to the phone. I'm like, I screwed up. Down. What is it? I've been cruising through the city with this pretty little thing. Couple of those up in the ride. I ain't worried about it. Rap this squad until I die. Yeah, it's gang, 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 gang. Fuck what they say. Yeah. Fuck what they say. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, Dallas with the Beatles swag. Yeah, Beatles swag. What do you think? I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Vegas to do the love show. You yeah, know give what me, give me two peace signs. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> Hey, Dallas getting the Beatles glasses. These are sick. Hey, look at Tom Simpson eyes. Yeah, those are those are tight, man. I like those. Feeling like Migos mm -hmm. in these joints. Feeling like two chains with two chains in these joints. Me needs to go eat. That's what we need to do. Oh yeah, we gotta. Migos sorry. need to eat. You know. I'm holding you up. Oh, for my face on these. I need bigger frames, right? Let me see. You look fine. You look like you're oh, about to go you. snowboarding. Do you want to spend two hundred dollars and look fine, or do you want to spend two hundred dollars and look sick? Let me see. Again, these aren't sick. These are these are one hundred and fifty dollar, two hundred dollar fine. Yeah, they're not two hundred dollar sick. I gotta have these. Right. Those right. are pretty nice on your face. You like these? They're the same glasses, just yeah, with the lenses. Yeah. 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 yeah, Dal, you look like Michael from The Lost Boys. <laughs> oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, dude, exactly. Get you a little cross earring hanging down. <laughs> Yeah, you look like Michael. No. <laughs> or you look like David. They're just maggots, Michael. <laughs> Let me this, see. This is your assistant manager joints. Oh, yeah. She yeah. likes those, huh? Those are, yeah. Nah? I think they're good. $200 nah? I would rock those. Yeah, those are you, Thomas the Franchise yeah. joints. Yeah, it's kind of like the old bad shit. <laughs> I don't know. Anything I can do? Yeah, these are fire. There you go. I need these. I just those look good. Today. Those look good. What is, what is something like this? Yeah, what does something like this tax me? Can I wear these in the cast? Those are pretty dark. You can't wear your sunglasses at night. Right, so you'll you be sitting so there. You can see. Ray Charles in this? Yeah. Oh, you know who those are? These are the Darius. Go look in the camera. Are these the Darius? Close. Yeah, no, dude, they're better. How many times? I don't know if you're familiar enough with this reference. Do you know Ocean's 13? Yes. Oh, the old guy. The old guy, yeah. dude. The yeah. guy with like the nice little coat. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, where he, he, he comes out. In the first no, he comes out of a coma. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at the crib. Dal got some Versace's, man. You see that? Shout out to Ascent Eyes, man. They keep me laced. You guys have seen the Cartier's that I rock on here. These Gucci's. I haven't really rocked the Gucci's on here. I will rock the Gucci's, but I had to get them tightened up. So shout out to Thomas. He, uh, he tightened these up for me. Fixed them up. They were kind of loose. They were hanging off my face. So these go hard though. The Gucci joints, the gold in there on both sides. Same kind of lenses. A little bit different. A little different than the Cardi's, but kind of the same look. But shout out to Ascent Eyes for holding us down, man. Let's get into the sneakers. It is the classic Jordan 4 flight box there. You've got the box label size 10. Now, 
Let me put you guys up on a little bit of game, man. This is why you guys tune into the most underrated sneaker channel. Because we give you the game inside the game, bro. We're like EA Sports the way we're in the game over here. So anyway, let me tell you about this box label, man. You guys see this? It's a little bit torn right here. So there's a little thing going on with Nike. And what they've started doing is chipping the box labels on a lot of pairs to try to catch people that are backdooring pairs. So if you're getting a pair early, early in the morning. they want to know who in the hell is giving you that pair early. Who is that plug? Where are you getting those from, man? Well, don't worry about where the hell I'm getting them from, Nike. But all you got to know is, man, so that's why the box label is a little bit ripped over there. I saw some people commenting on my fearless shit, like, oh, box label look f up. Shit's happening, okay? That's what's going on. That's why these box labels are coming ripped, man. So if you get a box label that's a little bit ripped and you got an early pair, chances are that might be why. Anyways, none of that stuff matters, man. Let's get into what you guys came here for, and it is the Jordan 4. What the bang? There we are, the Jordan 4. What the... Look around the shoe here. Let's get out both shoes because they are a little bit different. As you can see, they come out the box, the hang tag on here. We just shot the on feet with Dal Palantonio. So normally there's a pair of black laces hanging on here as well, but Dal already laced them up. There's the black laces it comes with. It comes with the white in the shoe and then the black joints there. So let's talk about these, man. First thing you notice off the rip is the quality. The leather on these joints is butter. Very, very nice. Let me take the shoe tree out just so you guys can kind of see. Really, really good, good leather on here. And the reason I say good is it's just very, very soft. I notice in Jordans, or Jordan 1s especially, I wear a lot of Jordan 1s, when it's a nicer, softer leather, the shoe just feels better on foot. I can wear it walking a lot longer. Have you ever tried to walk the Vegas Strip in a GR Jordan 1 with that shitty, hard leather? It's terrible. Your foot starts hurting after an hour and you're regretting your decision. But if you're wearing a Jordan with a nicer leather, it doesn't seem to get as uncomfortable as quickly. You can put more walking miles on the shoe, if that makes sense. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Jordan What The Collection, it's usually some crazy shit that they kind of freak. These aren't really that crazy. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people say these should have been called the Jordan 4 Top 4s. I really can't disagree with that. Like, these don't really feel like a What The collab. Other than this back here, it doesn't really feel like a What The. It feels like a Top 3 situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but these joints are a mixture of four different OG colorways of the Jordan 4, man. You got the white cements, you've got the bread 4s, you've got the military 4s, and then you've got the fire red 4s. So those are the four pairs of Jordan 4s they've used to combine to get this look here and to get this kind of mismatch, AKA Top 4 Jordan 4. So here's how this goes down. On the left shoe, your lacing system, fire red four. Right there on the outside, cement four on the inside. Your midsole on this shoe, cement four. Midsole and outsole. That is taken from the cement four there. Tongue tab or tongue all together, military four. Back tab, military blue four. Now here's what something I'll say about the military blue fours. I don't have one in my collection. I'm not a huge fan of military fours, but here's what I'll say about this shoe. This looks a little bit like a deeper ocean blue. On camera, it might be looking like a military blue or royal blue. These are like a deep ocean blue though. So all the images you're seeing online that kind of look royal, it's really not royal, man. Wait till you see them in hand and they have the same blue on the lacing system here. This is the lacing system from the military inside of the shoe, cement four. And then even the netting. On this one, it's the military blue underneath. On the other shoe, you've got the black underneath. Tongue, you've got your black patch on this one instead of the military blue. Midsole, bread for midsole and outsole on this one. Back tab, white cement for. So there you go, man. There's not really a ton to say. We don't need to spend a ton of time on this review. This is a shoe that honestly I was going to pass on until I saw them in hand. This is Dow's pair and the quality on these is really, really nice. I think that's what's going to get me to cop this shoe is the quality. I'm not a huge, huge fan of all white Jordan 4s, 3s, 5s. I feel like the creasing sucks. When they start to get dirty, dirt starts to get lodged in that creasing. With these, with the nicer, I'm not a huge, huge fan of all white Jordan 4s, 3s, 5s. I feel like the creasing sucks. When they start to get dirty, dirt starts to get lodged in that creasing. With these, with the nicer leather, I think they're gonna actually hold up a little bit better. So I'm actually a big fan of these and uh, I think Jordan Brand did a great job on this pair, man. I don't think this is a pair that's gonna be super crazy hard to get. Right now, resale's like 280 in my size. So I mean by release day, retail on them's 200. So it'll probably drop down to 225, 240 if I don't get them at retail. But I don't think these are gonna be a pair 
that uh, you should have too hard of a time getting, but I think it is a really good pair, man. That's gonna do it for this video, man. If you do not already know, we do the Most Underrated Podcast live on this YouTube channel every Monday and every Thursday. We go live at noon mountain time. I don't know whatever your time zone is, figure it out. But come check it out, man. Slide through the comments, hang out with us. You can also catch it on demand. We drop that every Tuesday and Friday. All the links are in the description below. With all that being said, it's about that time. You get yours, I'll get mine, and I will see you fools tomorrow. No worries, got no worries. Riding slow and ain't no hurry. Car so dirty, got time in it. I'm talking life in no five minutes. Today was a good day, I'm feeling like you. Ain't a thing in the world that gon' ruin my mood. Shorty and shoddy ain't picking the phone up. Can't talk with a mouth, but like you in the pool. Started today in the studio. Ended up hanging in City Park. Barbecue and phone blowing up. Freaks coming out, it's getting dark. Now we in a car heading anywhere. Going nowhere at the same time. Got a bottle passing with some music blasting. See some lights flashing, they might change my mind. Cause I don't need to catch a felon charge. Pray to God that he's gonna Smell my car, blunt lit, took another hit Turn the music down, saw the other barge Wishing on a star, mission out to Mars Take a left and lose a cop car Blacking out from bars, smashing up guitars Living life like a rock star I've been cruising through the city with this pretty lady